Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, as promised, let's take a peek at what's happening across the desert southwest. Not so southwestern weather, usually 80s and sunny this time of year. Not the case. Big area of low pressure sitting up shop just off of the Southern California coastline between there and the Baja of California. And boy, oh boy, it is just making a straight up mess all over Las Vegas. Heavy, heavy snow across southern and central Utah. Also looking at some heavy rain. As you could hear Eric Elkin in the stadium there, Arizona Stadium, uh, lots of potential for some pretty good rain showers as they'll see some of these bands continue to move their way uh, closer to Tucson as we head into tomorrow's forecast. So let's zoom up and zoom in as we head in towards our neck of the woods and show you what we've got across parts of the northwest. Things are going to continue to, continue to stay. On the dry side, we've got a little bit of cloud cover moving in. Again, high series clouds at best. That's about all we'll get across the state for most of the weekend. So it should be a good looking weekend. In addition, we've been talking about that inversion. That's when the cold air at the surface here in the valley gets trapped by some warmer air that's been moving up the coastline. I had the coast in the 50s today, and we'll do so again tomorrow. No 50s here. We only got up to 46 degrees. And that's impressive considering we were at 19 this morning, and that beat our old record of 20 set back in 2000. And you might expect it still remains dry, even though we've seen some frost. That's not enough to actually kind of melt down into the uh, weather bucket. It just kind of makes things a little chilly in the morning. 46 was our high today in Eugene. 35 in Roseburg. They were socked into the fog most of the day, thus much cooler there. 50 in Portland. You can see the 50s that extend and even 71 degrees in Brookings. Wow. Nice to see the little inlet uh, certainly enjoying some warmer air. Not the case out in Central Oregon. Struggled to get up close to freezing today. Now sitting in the mid to low 20s. Bend in Sun River. 35 current temperature in Eugene. Folks at Cottage Grove checking in at 33, 33 in Roseburg, and still 40s, but falling out towards the coast. Overnight tonight, we won't get down to the teens, but I think we're still looking for a very cold night tonight. 23 in Eugene, 27 with fog, reforming quickly in Roseburg. And for tomorrow and into the weekend, we still have this ridge of high pressure in control of the main part of our forecast. Now, the jet stream's going up and over top, and so it's grabbing that cold Canadian air and pulling it southward. In fact, the uh, easterly winds, the offshore winds across the Columbia River Gorge tomorrow and up towards uh, Crown Point, where they uh, have the notoriously strong winds, it's likely going to see wind gusts there, uh, anywhere between there and in through the locks. Probably, I'd say, 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts. So if you have nothing to do, head on up there and get blown around by the wind. Should be a good time. So we'll be quickly below 32 degrees tonight. Morning lows in the 20s. Sunny by the afternoon and then a slow warm up as we head in towards next week. That's the good news. I'll show you in the seven day in a second, though. What we're looking at along the coast, sunny skies. We could be looking at some clouds, maybe showers for Thanksgiving. Partly sunny skies after the freezing fog should slowly break up. I do think we'll get a little bit of sunshine across parts of the Umpqua tomorrow. Sunny and breezy in the Cascades. Freezing levels there up to around 8,000 feet. Cold start, but a sunny finish back into the low 40s and upper 30s near Sun River. And still chilly with temperatures well below freezing. The same thing. We'll see the temperatures in the mid-20s again. So another morning of, of uh, scraping frost off the car for both tomorrow and as we head in towards your Sunday forecast. All right, the coast. There you see the clouds moving back in by Tuesday. Right now, it looks like the brunt of this next storm will head into Northern California. But if it shifts north at all, we could be looking at some showers into our forecast for the travel day Wednesday and then on Thanksgiving. We'll have to watch that very carefully. Freezing fog next couple of days. I'll try to peek out some sunshine. Otherwise, I do think we'll get some back into the forecast early next week. Cascades, see the freezing levels well above all of the passes. No precipitation expected there. So again, uh, just careful of the icy overnights. And same thing in the Willamette Valley. The frost was great this morning, guys. Wish I had my camera out there and I was walking the dog because, you know, everything was frozen and kind of cool looking. And we had some great pictures folks had sent in. But uh, boy, oh boy, cold there. Tonight, tomorrow, sitting in Reeser, it gets cold after about yeah. five minutes, and you're like, I can't feel my feet. Yes, yeah, so bundle up. Yes, bundle Get up the for sure. the wool socks out, all the, yeah. Oh, all plenty right. to clap about to keep them warm. <laughs> yeah.